Same idea, the Gurren lock basically locks it into place. So when that patient pulls it out on the one side. Oh, let me see where the lock goes. I thought it was. It goes right in front. So when they put it back into the tube, uh -huh. it's gonna stop it. They're not gonna be able to jam that too far back or is it not gonna be you know, too far out? There's actually the lock that will hold it into place once they're brushing with it. Is that what the lock is for instead of that bend? Yes. I thought the lock. I thought this lock was to like activate it once you distalized what you want. No, we should always have the lock on all the time because what we're doing is when we're trying to determine how much space there is mm -hmm. around the teeth, we want to secure it in that position. So you're putting these two locks. So then the lip is going to push this back, which is going to distalize those molars. Then when they come back in a month, this lip bumper should be relatively close. Mm -hmm. So then you're going to loosen the Gurren locks, you're going to move this forward, and then you're going to slide the Gurren locks oh, okay. back, yeah. tighten them up, so then they're going to be stable in that position. Next month, you're going to do the same thing. So we'll indicate like two months, three months, we need three millimeters. Okay, so we're going to tell you how long that takes. Okay. It's kind of easy once you see it. So here's the chain link. It actually has circular band, kind of a circular shape to it. So you take that circle and you're going to wrap it around that tubular band. Then you're going to slide the bumper in. So it's kind of locked in place. It can go underneath the seat. That, that circle is wrapped around that tubular band. And you're just sticking it on one side. Right, and you're gonna, how you're gonna determine which side is if the child's right-handed. You want the right-hand side loose so they can pull it to brush their teeth. If they're left-handed, you want the left-handed side. So this child is a right-handed patient. So I'm gonna slide this back in here. So I've locked that chain in there. And then I put this side along this hook. So when the patient goes to brush, right-handed, they're going to pull their pants, brush, and stick this back in. Okay. Now this lower doesn't have the Gurren locks, but this is what the Gurren lock looks like. So when you, you look at this dentition, you want a certain amount of area around consistently. Then you're going to put the Gurren locks up against that tubular band, tighten them. Pseudo class three. Patient will wear it. And then these drive those, teeth distalize those molars. Next month they come, teeth. you're going to loosen the Gurren locks. Time, you're going to move the bumper forward. Get the same amount. Here, Slide the those Gurren locks up against the tubular bands. Tighten them. Allow the lip to move those teeth that month. And we'll indicate so, two in months, way, three months. We need three millimeters. So you can kind of gauge how long they'll wear the bumper. So how how quickly does and is that going to be done? Quick. But we yeah. recommend that they use it. And you don't want them to be so the way that it's it's rubbing on the ground. That's why you should see them every month. It's like brackets. You don't want them to miss an appointment. Sure. With braces. Okay. It's pretty easy once you see. It's just a matter of understanding where everything goes. Okay. 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 So here's a chain elastic, so you see you have these circular kind of shapes on mm -hmm. it. So actually we take the chain elastic, I'm just going to pull this out, and we wrap that circular thing around that tube, okay? And then you put the bumper in on top of that, okay? So it kind of locks that chain elastic into that mount. Mm -hmm. And then there's Gurren locks that go on. This should have been on here. So a Gurren lock looks like this. We loosen them up, and we're going to make sure that the bumpers, the mount, same amount of distance around the tooth, we're going to put those Gurren locks up against that tubular band and screw them into place. Okay? They wear it for a month. We're going to make their lip up against the bumper, which is going to distalize those molars. They come in, so then you're going to loosen those Gurren locks. You're going to move that lip bumper forward to get that same amount. You're going to slide those Gurren locks back by the tubes, tighten them, let them wear it, drive those molars back. So we'll tell you, like two or three months. We get usually about a millimeter of distillation per month, so you know how much you need. So usually it's like two or three months. And then how do you know like what distance to pull that chain? It shouldn't be tight. It's just a matter of locking it into place. So when the patient goes to brush their teeth, if they're a right-handed patient, you want the right-hand side loose without the chain link. 
elastic because they're going to move it, brush their teeth, and then they're going to put it back into the tube. Okay. Okay. So and only the Guerin the Guerin lock is only on the side. No, of the chain. Actually, the chain, the Guerin lock can go on both. will go on both sides. Okay. Oh, so you can take it out with the Guerin lock. You can. And the Guerin lock is only like a stopper because we don't want them to push that too far back because then we're going to lose the whole effect and it could be rubbing their gums. So it's just a kind of the stopper. And but then you can still take it out. You can take it forward. Side, if it doesn't have a chain. Right. But we want one side with the chain. So the chain is determined on which side. If the right handed, you want the chain on the left side because you want the right hand free so you can brush. So if I'm right handed, it's easier for me to pull this out and brush my teeth. If I'm left handed, I probably want the chain on the right side and I'll leave the left side open. Okay. And then, so this stays behind that wire? It, it, it can be either behind or in front, somehow this gut. So if I pull this, here, I'll show Sorry. <laughs> we'll move this here. It's Friday afternoon. It's been a long couple days, right? Okay, so let's put this back in here. Okay, so we can either make it go behind or in front, and then we pull it and we put it on that hook. Okay, whichever is more comfortable. If you have a lot of room, go behind. Then it doesn't irritate the gum. If you have plenty of room, you know, if you don't have that much room, then it's going to go ahead on the outside, and then, you know, obviously, hopefully, it won't irritate the gum. Okay. 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 Good. So this elastic has like a circular kind of shape to it. So we take that, and we're going to, before we put the bumper in, we're going to put that loop around the bumper, about the around the tubular vein. And then we're taking the, the bumper the and we're actually putting it facility, into to slide forward the tubular band. The class three condition. Also, there's um, here okay. a closal and then this elastic the, goes on this hook, so, it so it can go the, behind it or in front of it. Overlapping of the front teeth. And it's just to so anchor it. the front teeth to slide freely over. But okay. so it doesn't necessarily it it does pull the too. I mean, it looks like it would pull the. No, you have to cut it so it gives enough give. But it's just a matter, so when they're brushing their teeth, they're pulling that out, and, uh, brushing their teeth, happens, there's a, there's a ring. and able to pull it, it in. It sits passively in there? Mm -hmm. It doesn't lock so in? The front teeth slide it, but, no, it does lock in. So what this should have had are these overbite, blocks. This is a Gurren lock that we were talking about, and it's, a, mm -hmm. and it's a stopper. So we um, have... Um, medical school here. They do you have the wrench? Okay. This is the wrench, so we're going to unscrew it, loosen it up. So then you're going to determine how much distance that you need. Slide that girl lock up against that tubular band, take the wrench, and just tighten it. Okay? You tighten it right from here. Just tighten it up. Then they wear it for the first month. They're going to take their lip and push on that, and it's going to distalize those molars. That lock's going to create that friction in order to drive those molars back. After a month, it'll come back looking something like that. So then loosen the Guerin locks. Look like something like what? You're going to loosen the Guerin lock, and then you're going to slide it back, create the space you need, and then that month, the lip is going to drive those molars back. If you need a third month, they'll come back. You'll move it forward again and slip the Guerin locks up against that tubular band. So this basically prevents this. It's a stopper for you. So that when a patient, so if the Guerin lock was right here, you pulled it out to brush, they put it back in. They're not able to like drive that thing all the way against their teeth. It's going to stop it for you. Okay? Upper or lower, it doesn't matter. Okay? Makes sense? Or? While it's still sitting there, can you um, show me so that I've got it on camera, the little chain, the rubber chain? Sure. Um, how it gets in the position that it's currently in. So, okay. So if we take this bumper out, here's the chain elastic. Do you see how that, see how that circle has been? So it goes around the tubular band. Yeah, I might need that, but let's see if I can do it without. Uh, so once you get that in place, it's um, producing the leverage that you want by pulling it? No, this has no, no, no bearing on leverage. This is just to anchor it in so the child can't pull the whole thing out. So there you go. So it's all the way in. And then once you get that circle in there, 
you're actually going to put the bumper right through the holes. So now that chain link is stationed in there. Okay? And you'll take this end of it. But you're supposed to have a lock in there. You'll have a lock in there. I'm sorry, it doesn't have it on the side. Sorry, I'm just trying to do my nimble fingers. Oh, I know. This was just cut a little too short. <laughs> Okay, so now it's on the outside, so we can actually take this and put it around this hook. Oh, that clips on anyway, that? Okay, now I get It's a very small little appliance, but it's meant to um, specifically um, straighten the um, glass okay. reef. So see? So now they can't pull it out. And then this side goes in here. Now it, we should have grown lock so it's stuck. Anyway, grown lock is going both sides. Yeah, the day. and the grown lock would actually be on warm, this one. Uh, if I had the grown locks, they would be right here, mm -hmm. and, and um, they would be right here. Now, to determine which side you put the, the chain elastic on, mm -hmm. you want, if the child's hey, right handed, you're going to put the chain on the left so that it's right handed. You're going to put the chain on the left so that you can make it easier for them to brush their teeth. So they're going to pull it on the right. Oh. And then they don't pull it off. And then you put it back. them take it off to brush their teeth? Just one side of it. And that one's going to lock it in. Mm -hmm. It's going to hold it up without a exactly. Here's the we're lock in the mini hex wrench. <laughs> Here's the board that has a, can see again, that a pseudo class and then, It looks like a full blown And there's a little screw in here and it can't come out. And it's really annoying. Like, there's a little screw in here. Yeah, yeah that little screw that's sticking out. Mm -hmm. and that's where you're going to tighten the, uh, it. Um, and then you can get to see how. This point now, he might be ready for uh, a G series of plans to correct uh, the rest of it. Uh, Sorry, so you're, you're my you're my hand on the eyes, and then you can basically um, can you tighten that so I can see it happen? How close do you get that to the actual? You're gonna put it right up here. So let's do this. Let's, let's put it in, and I'm gonna have you tighten it when it's in. Okay, so we're gonna put it in this too. Okay. And now we want to make sure that there's enough room. We want to look all the way around so that there's an even amount of room between the gum and the bumper. Okay, so when you're doing that, now you want this to be all the way up against that too. Now lock it. That's only about a year later. And here's your three months to see the nice. You can also put the patient on its head so that the lock. <laughs> so anyway, the design, the upper portion of the okay. is designed without any And so lock. after a certain amount of time, then this so is going to distalize this way. In a month, in a month, you should be able to get a millimeter of drive to distalize these molars. Okay. So the space is going to come between these two, or like you said, is going to spread out? It can be both. And it is it's going to start back here, and then the teeth are going to drive back you know, where the appliance. Sometimes he says where the appliance right on top of it. So you, you might not even see the space when you see it because the spaces might be utilized for that removal of the crowd. So then, so they come back in a month later. Now this bumper is now going to be closer to those gums. Okay, so now you're going to loosen that. So, I mean, you can do that if you want to loosen it. Okay, so then we're going to move it again forward to make sure we have enough room. And you're going to slide it again right up against that tube and tighten it. Okay.